तूर्फ लद्दाख सरहद भारत चीना मध्य ने उद्रिक्त आनुक दशो युद्ध मंजुन वरकू वेलायन उत्तर आर्मी कमाडर लेफ्ट जनरल लेफ्ट जनरल पैके जोशी अच्छे युद्धा की दारती भारत चाकचक्य चीना निवस्तवाधीन रेख वे आगस्ट चोटचे उद्रिक्त परस्थित आये मीडिया तो पंचको प्रतिष्ठन वाल चंडपे तप चीना एमी साधन विमर्शन concern is india has compromised the concern is that india has ceded land that if our claim line is finger 8 and we've stepped back to finger 3 uh, and this buffer zone that has been created between finger 3 and finger 8 so have we ceded lands no that finger 8 is a claim line uh, the pla the entire forces are going back behind finger 8 the entire infrastructure that they created you know post april last year between finger 4 and finger 8 which was quite a lot is being removed entirely you know be they dugouts be they trenches be they bunkers that they constructed the tentage everything will be you know restored the entire landform between finger 4 to finger 8 will be restored completely to pre april 2020 situation and the last and the most important point is they will not carry out any activity into our claimed area that is on the side of finger 8 be it a military activity or any other activity so i think it's a big success how we ceded land in any way so you are a kargil hero you've seen that war conflict at any point of time did you think there were situations when it could have blown up into a armed conflict and uh, this happened actually post uh, we did our qpq options the quid pro quo options and when we had occupied rangra chinla we had the armor and the mech forces sitting on top of the kalash ranges uh, that was on the 29th and 30th night 31st when the pla wanted to come up you know right up to the kalash ranges uh, that was the time the situation was extremely extremely tense you know uh, the galwan had happened uh, we had absolutely you know given been given a free hand to conduct operations the way we wanted and at that moment when you see the adversary's tank coming up you know my tank man the gunner sitting and the rocket launcher and the atgm you know seeing through the telescope sights and when they see the adversary's tank coming up into your uh, you know crosshairs the easiest thing for him to do for what he is trained is to pull the trigger you know that doesn't need any courage that's no brainer but the most difficult thing with needs courage is not to open fire not to press the trigger so we have to be very clear that there was a time when a war was actually averted we were on the edge we were absolutely on the brink and those were very very tense and very challenging moments for us so speaking about galwan uh, the indian army never put out the number of fatalities that the chinese had suffered is there a rough estimation that we have what is a number you know which will not enter the arena of speculation and knowing ki ye tha uh while you know when the incident happened we had our ops sitting observation you know observing the area and uh, we were able to pick up a large number of you know casualties which were being picked up in a stretcher and taken back more than 60 actually but whether they were you know fatal non fatal we can't say with the authority so i will not sort of hazard a figure on that but you are aware that recently tas the russian agency had uh, put out a figure of 45 and uh, i think we could that could be uh, one of the figures we could look at could be more than that as well is it clear to you why the chinese did what they did ban in the middle of a pandemic and what have they achieved by the end of 9 months yeah so it's very surprising that they did what they did but uh, you know my understanding is that over a period of time you know i was a brigade commander here in 2010 29 10 and 11 that time we had only two battalions looking after the entire eastern ladakh and since then you know we have been improving our post level in this areas we have been improving our infrastructure in this areas and we are drawing closer to you know a clarification of the lsc at some stage and chinese having realized this probably now they are looking to shift their claims westwards acquire more dominating heights or you know want to shift the lsc westward as far as possible till we you know arrive at a clarification of the lsc so that was the aim but then uh, he has achieved nothing you know post this we gone back to chatasco ante all his forces have gone back all the land forming restored and he just earned actually if i may say a bad name actually nothing else